you guys welcome back to my channel today i have a really fun video it's something i've been wanting to do for a long time i've seen this website advertised everywhere and i wanted to test it out give you my thoughts and my reviews to you i hope you guys are all being safe during corona time it is a crazy crazy world that we live in right now the stores had took out all their makeup testers so you really can't even go test out any makeup if you really even wanted to when you go to drug stores like Walgreens, Rite Aid, um, Walmart, you really can't test out their makeup because everything is sealed and locked. But that's why I wanted to show you guys foundation is supposed to help you find that shade without even going through the hassle. Go to the Google search and you type in foundation.com and then it's going to ask you for your foundation egg that you use currently. It pops up all these possible foundations and it puts in your shade that you're supposed to be in that foundation. So I'm doing a drugstore addition to this. On five foundations that I did want to try, one that I am going back to because I used to use it. I will give you my full review and to see if this is worth it or if this foundation is a big flop. And I'm hoping it's not a flop because this wasted a lot of money on this. <laughs> Alright, so which foundation am I going to use first? The first one I am going to use Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the shade Golden Beige. It says goodbye photo flashback, helps eliminate white particle reflection. It is tested under seven light conditions with top smartphone models with and without flash has medium coverage, delivers virtual flawless and buildable coverage every time, position matched, color with matte second skin finish, soft focus properties help protect appearance of skin. So I have this foundation already in desert beige, it is a little dark on me and it does oxidize so I will be using this in the summer but as of right now I do mix it with moisturizer to lighten it a little bit so hopefully this one is a better match. I'm going to show you the difference between the desert beige and golden beige. So here's the two swatches, this one. So the top one we have is golden beige and then the bottom one is desert beige. Um, golden beige is medium and desert beige is medium dark so it's more warm. Summer, natural. But I, like I said, I do mix this with moisturizer so it does even out the tone. which. Is okay with me but you can definitely tell the difference between those two so you open it it comes with like a little a spacula looking brush right there and it does smell a little chemically this foundation was roughly seven dollars i believe i'll find the price and i'll put it right there so i'm gonna test it out right now so you can build it up to full coverage if you would like if that is your preference wow i would say that's a pretty good match you can't even tell that it's there way better than the desert beige and it's a lot less work with this one so golden beige is a plus I give it a five out of five the desert beige on my skin probably give it a four out of five only because I have to mix this this one for the win the next foundation I'm gonna do is the one that's been trending all over TikTok I even seen it like every video on my feed um, it is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 fresh wear foundation matched to me with the shade where's the shade where's the shade Ooh. Match me with 475. It's supposed to be breathable, buildable, breathable, buildable coverage up to 24 hour complexion. It is a medium coverage, so you can build it up to full if you'd like. The finish is supposed to be natural and you can wear it up for 24 hours. Oh, it's right there, 475 sun beige. That's the shade for this. So I'm gonna swatch it. Oh, that was probably a little too much. So there's the swatch right there. I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Hmm. 
So this one did blend into my skin. Um, it doesn't feel super heavy. It feels really light actually. And it has a nice finish to it. The only thing is it's a little more golden than I would like it to be. So I'm not sure if there's a way to fix that or if I should just get a different shade. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about that, but it is more golden. Also, I had a golden skin undertone, so I'm not sure. I think it's a good foundation. TikTok is, this is what the hype is, and it is definitely worth the hype. So I think I'll have to go with a different color. Like I said, it's a little more golden, but I mean, it works. So for color match on this one, I would say I give it four out of five. The next foundation I got is the Maybelline Fit Me. The next foundation I got is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I got this in the, the shade 228, which is soft and fun fact, I used to use this right after high school when I started doing makeup. This was one of my first foundations that I got. It's super affordable. I think it was like five dollars six dollars i'll put the price right here it's supposed to be matte and poreless it mattifies and refines pores matches natural tone natural seamless finish and it's from normal to oily skin so i'm not sure if this is gonna react well to my face only because i'm already oily as it is in different seasons i am more dry so i think this will be a good foundation for dry weather say like winter maybe so there's that. I used to use this foundation after high school. I did use two different shades only to match my skin. I do not remember what that was because that was my summer color. So hopefully this goes well. Wow. Okay, it's my shade. Are, are you my shade? Ooh. This foundation is a 5 out of 5 for the match. You can't even tell that it blended into my skin. It just went on so natural. So I think I will be using this one a lot more. Wow, I'm going back to my old ways. It doesn't look oily. Okay, I let, I let it sit on there for a little bit too. But it does not look oily whatsoever. The next foundation I'm going to use is the Milani. Conceal Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the color Sand Beige number 6, which is my favorite number, so hopefully this is a winner as well. This is medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, a long wear, water-resistant, and sweat-proof. Now, if it's sweat-proof, that means I can wear this to the club and dance my butt off and be okay with it. I'll be looking good. I will put the price on this one right here on the screen. The swatch of it right there. By the way, do not, when you're at the store and you're doing swatches, do not swatch on your hand or right here. You want to do it from your cheek all the way down to your neck. That's the only way you're going to find your true match. So for the purpose of the video, I didn't do that. Did that even go on there? This one has a really nice finish. Oh my gosh. I think this might be my favorite one so far. <gasps> wow. Okay. Let that sit in my face for a second. I think I like this one. I did let it sit on my face for a little bit. It does have a nice finish. I don't have to do a lot for the coverage. I mean, I could go one more layer maybe, but it does look a little golden as well. Just a little bit, not too much. But I can get by with it. I do like this one a lot. This is a 5 out of 5 as well. Foundation, you're doing me so good right now. The fact that this one is a 2-in-1 foundation and concealer that you cannot beat for the price of what it is worth. It's a really good price and it is good. I, that's all I gotta say. It's good. My next one, I had the same problem with when it came to the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I had used the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage and this one was really good the coverage is great this is a full coverage foundation the only one i have from this pile it's up to 24 hour wear seamless matte finish breathable and controllable fade and transfer resistant and doesn't clog pores it oxidized my skin so much and this was a summer one as well but it just made me look really more tan than i was 
supposed to be. The crazy about this is when foundation matched me, it matched me with 220, which was natural age. They were right next to each other. You could already tell the difference just by looking at the well, let me put them in order. You already could tell which one is darker and which one isn't. So this is this one's sun beige and this one's natural beige. I'm gonna swatch them too so you guys can see the difference. The top one is the 220 natural beige, and then the bottom one is 310 sun beige. And you already can tell that the sun beige one is already oxidizing like crazy, like it's already getting darker. And they started off the same. Look how much more tan that is. So that's me in the summer. I get really tan. A nice tan though. I get like a golden tan. Which I think this infallible one might be better in the summer maybe because of the tan. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm a little nervous for this one. I even hear people have to mix these ones because it's just so hard to find a match. So, one, two, three, content. Okay, but where does the foundation go? Oh my gosh, where did it go? So good this looks so good so I let it sit on my face for a little bit and I think it's done oxidizing I don't think it's gonna go any further than that but this was a solid like 10 out of 10 it went off the scale it's not even a 5 anymore so if I was to rank these in color it was for my favorite it probably would be the Maybelline Super Stage which is number one number two would probably be Maybelline Fit Me Number three is gonna be the Lani, the two and one. L'Oreal will be four. And then the Wet n Wild will be five. Only because of the smell. Even though this was probably a better match than the Infallible one. But I didn't like the smell. The smell smells too chemically. And I already know that from from my Desert Beige one, but I can tolerate it. I don't put a lot of it. So yeah, that is my reviews on the foundations that I got from the Westside Foundation. If you guys wanna go ahead and check it out, I will leave the link. In the description box below if you guys like these type of videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up so i know this is what you guys like to see and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys are notified whenever i upload a new video and i think that is all thank you guys for hanging out with me and testing out these foundations to see if they are my true match and they they really are i really recommend this website and yeah i think that's all i will see you guys next time bye